So after we installed this number two line, it can help with the diversity route. So basically it can share the load with our town one and our town two. And also it can help with all the future upgrades that are going to happen within the area. Kia ora, I'm Carl Michael Manglo. I'm the project manager for our town 33 kV cabling project. We're installing 33 kV cable from the Franklin GXP where we're at now and then all the way up to Maligans Road. So basically it's comprised of like 9.4 kilometers of 630 mil 33 kV cable. So we go from Franklin Road all the way up to the Shotover Bridge, turn left to uh, Spence Road, and then turn left to Lower Shotover Road, and then all the way up the end to Maligans Road, where we're terminating it to 33 kV recloser pole. So the project is comprised of 10 straight through cable through joints, and then five cross bonding joints, and then two cross bonding joints with link boxes that we're installing for Aurora Network. We're also installing two recloser poles at Maligans Road. And then this project also compromised of installing two 11 kV termination poles at Maligans Road. So that's basically the whole project. Yeah, good day. My name's Ryan Mann. I'm a cable jointed team leader for Queenstown in Central. Yeah, this is one of the biggest projects I've been involved with with Delta since I've been here. It's a lot of cable that's in the ground, it's a lot of joints to be done. I think it's 54 joints possibly that, that we're doing. Each joint is quite time consuming, uh, up to five hours per joint. So we've been spending a lot of hours on site. There's quite a bit involved with it being a new style of cable, with it being a, a conductive outer sheath. We've got to do a lot of testing before we actually join it together, because if we don't get the strip back right, it can also look like there's a damage in the cable with sheath fault, which we don't want. We don't want to be digging every pit up. With it being 33, you've got to be really clean. It's got to be spot on with it, because as soon as there's a bit of dirt in there, the electricity will soon find it and just, and just blow out. Uh, for the cable pulling, we got one challenge, which is the stage four part of the project. We got a lot of deviations, so there's got a lot of bends. The next challenge is actually the shot of a bridge, which I'm very excited to see on how we're going to pull that. But uh, Ray and the Dunedin Silver crew managed to push through and then finish that without any problems, which is really good. Our techs from Dunedin will also be working on the uh, Transpower JXP. The boys are working all day and night just to finish it to hit our deadline. I'm just happy that the Dunedin crews, um, civil and jointers, Queenstown joiners and uh, Queenstown line mechanic crews, thank you for all their hard work. Uh, we really can't finish the job without all of you guys. So basically, Steve and I are just here to plan the project, but it's basically all you guys who did all the hard work. So um, thank you very much. I also would like to thank Aurora for giving us this opportunity in, uh, in completing the project. And then of course, all the Queenstown locals, thank you very much for all your patience that you've given us to, to, to be able to complete this is actually a milestone for everyone. So I'm just very happy.